Welcome to another episode of I Wonder, Doctor. Let's talk about how a funky diet can raise your blood pressure. So what you're saying is I better eat less salt because too much salt increases high blood pressure. Well, of course I have said that. Yeah, 30 to 50 percent of people with high blood pressure have got a salt issue going on there. They're eating too much and or they're sensitive to salt in general, they've got to reduce their salt. But that's not the one I want to refer to today because there's a much bigger cause related to diet and it's sweets, sugar, hmm. simple carbohydrates. Yeah. Hmm. Let me explain to you how this works. A simple carbohydrate, like sugar, absorbs into your bloodstream out of the stomach really quickly. And you get a spike of glucose in your blood and your body thinks that you ate a huge meal because for millions of years... It would never see that much sugar unless I'd right. eaten a big meal. The food was far more complex until about 100 years ago and didn't contain a lot of sugar. Yeah. So it thinks you had a huge meal. It protects against a glucose spike because glucose burns real hot. And it needs to get into the cells quickly. And it needs to be converted to fat to be stored or processed right away. Otherwise, it burns too hot. Yeah. And the body has a special hormone to get glucose out of the blood and into the cells, and that's called insulin. So your body puts out insulin as if you had a huge meal, but you didn't. And there's extra insulin at the end of the, its work. You get hypoglycemia. Some people feel that. They get a little tired or a little faint when they've eaten too much sugar. And, well, the body does not tolerate hypoglycemia. Too little sugar. Too little sugar. Yeah. But it's got an internal restorative mechanism called hormones that can raise the blood glucose again. Same ones that do it for fight or flight, adrenaline and cortisol. There's a lot of people in which adrenaline is going to raise that blood pressure. So I think I understand this. Now I think I get why sugar raises my blood pressure. It's something like this. I drink a soda. My body thinks I must have eaten a large meal for that much sugar to be hitting my system. It pumps a bunch of insulin into my bloodstream to deal with that much sugar. It overhits the mark because it thought I ate a giant meal. Now I have too little sugar in my bloodstream. It goes, I <laughs> can't deal with that. So it pumps in, what, adrenaline and cortisol to make up for that, and that raises my blood pressure. You got it. So sugar leads to adrenaline. Adrenaline leads to high blood pressure. Exactly. And I described the short run of things. Yeah. Do this over a long period of time, everything gets worse. You get something called insulin resistance, ultimately diabetes. We'll go there another time. Yeah. Moral of the story, if you have high blood pressure, you've got to examine your simple carbohydrate intake and reduce it. Well, what are simple carbohydrates? Well, sugar and sweets, if it's sweet, it's simple. Yet there's some hidden stuff. For example, almost all processed foods has a very high sugar and salt content for reasons we'll discuss another time. Yeah. So if it's in a bottle, box, or can, look out. And pastas, bread, grains, certainly pastries, they, they're too simple as well. So there's a piece of work to do here, and of course, and I wonder, doctor, we're gonna have a lot more to say about this. Okay, thank you.